Today, I'll show you how to do your bit to me crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another integration video. Today, we're specifically talking about bit to me and how to get your crypto tax information with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you about them, then I'll jump into the integration. And then lastly, I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so there isn't too much to say about this platform. It's based out of Elche, Spain, and it was founded in 2014. They're a very, I would say, minimalist platform. They don't have a lot of different features. They have standard spot trading, they have a basic earn program, and they have their own token. So let me know if you are using their token or if you're using any of their earn programs. But that's enough about them. Let's jump into the very simple integration. So first thing, as always, I'll log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, create one. It's completely free to sign up. Go into the wallets area and then click on add wallet. Then we're gonna type bit2 and there it is. It's the second one that pops up. As you can see, there is no API for this one. So we're only going with a CSV file, but the CSV file is very easy to get and it has all the necessary information. So on their platform, you would go into the activity area, which is in the top left side, and then you would have your transactions show up on the screen right here. And then you would click export and select the year or years you need your information for. So make sure to have your entire transaction history. So that, that, that might require several different CSV files and that's okay export all of them and then simply drag and drop them and put them here into Coinly. Okay, so once all your data has been imported into Coinly, you can go into the transactions area and see underneath the hood, making sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Also making sure that your staking is tagged tag correctly, send to pool, send from pool, stuff like that. And then you can go into the tax report area for one final summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. And once you have everything here that you're happy with, you can look at your capital gains, your other gains, your income, your costs and expenses. Um, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different documents to choose from. And some of these reports include for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant. Um, and then they can you know, combine that with your other documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully that was pretty straightforward. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section if you like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section if all else fails, messages directly, and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribe for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.